Good day everyone, we are the group 3 and our topic is Effective Strategies for Inclusive Education. What is inclusive education? Inclusive education means that all students with or without disabilities attend and are welcome to a regular classroom into a specific school. Also, inclusive education provides accessible learning and addressing to the diversity of needs of all learners. The goal of inclusive education is the education for all. Four important strategies to consider when designing an inclusive classroom and curriculum. First, use universal design principles to create accessible classroom. UDL or Universal Design for Learning is an approach to aim and meet the needs of every student inside classroom and it has three principles. First, representation or the what of learning. It means visual aids or the technology being used by teacher can effectively help students to learn. Second, action and expression or the how of learning, modifying method like giving graphic organizations can help students to understand the lessons more. Third, engagement, the why of learning. It's all about engaging and to evaluate what are the strengths and the weaknesses that need to be enhanced and need to be addressed. Second, use variety of instructional format. Using different mediums to present information will help students to learn effectively. It's important that teachers have this creativity on making its curriculum into meaningful and responsive learning to students. Number three is know your students' IEPs or 504s. If you have a student with a 504 or IEP plan, you are legally required to make any necessary accommodations as outlined in the 504 or IEP. You can work with the school counselor or teaching specialist to better understand the student's specific needs. Much like the concept of inclusive learning, 504s were designed to ensure that students with disabilities are allowed to learn in a regular classroom environment, while still being provided with services, educational aids, or accommodations they may require. Number four is develop a behavior management plan. Developing a behavior management plan can help you prepare for the inevitable moment of a student or students exhibit disruptive behaviors with the understanding that some behaviors are of much less consequence than others. The behavior plan should be shared with parents and students so that everyone is aware of the expectations and consequences should those expectations not be met. Strong observations and high quality feedback play an important role in fostering reflective educator practice, improving instruction, and supporting evaluate, evaluators as instructional leaders. So, for educators who support diverse learners, observations that target principles of accessible instruction and positive behavior supports will lead to meaningful and actionable feedback. Classroom practices that might be observed in an, inclu an inclusive setting with positive behavior supports include the following. So educator, educators present information in multiple ways. So students may have options for the per perception of information, for simplified or clarified language, for mathematical expressions and symbols, and for how students comprehend information. So the second one, students demonstrate their knowledge in multiple ways. Students may have options for how they perform physical tasks, for how they communicate their understanding to the educator and each other, and for how they plan and manage tasks. So the third one is student engagement is not one, si one size fits all. Educators provide options that optimize individual Choice and autonomy, relevance and authenticity, students demonstrate sustained effort and persistence and have strategies for managing their own work. And the fourth one, the last one, is the learning environment is safe and supportive. Classroom culture reflects positive social emotional support. Some students may require required individualized behavior plans and support 
to address their individual needs. So we have a tool provides um, guidance for educators and evalu evaluators when conducting conducting observations and self assessments in inclusive instructional settings. So the observation tool provides examples of educator behaviors and student behaviors environment and environmental conditions in an effective inclusive classroom. So because an educator's role in an inclusive setting can weigh depending on the needs of diverse learners, this tool references multiple instructional and behavioral management strategies that should not be considered a comprehensive list. So the tool allows the observer to see how the educator has recognized and addressed differences through effective and flexible instructional practices aligned with the principles of accessible instruction and positive behavior supports. And um, the feedback classroom form can be used in conjunction with the tool to provide educators in inclusive instructional settings targeted feedback based on observations. And this tool provides examples from the evaluators can use with educators based on what into on what the evaluators observe in the um, instructional setting. So, including prompts related to educator educator behaviors, student behaviors, and environmental conditions. By using this feedback tool, educators and evaluators will be able to have more targeted conversations aligned with the principles of accessible instructional and positive behavior supports. Observations in inclusive settings. Classroom practices that might be observed in an inclusive setting with positive behavior supports include the following. First is, educators present information in multiple ways. Students may have option for the perception of information for simplified or clarified language, for mathematical expression and symbols, and how uh, students comprehend information. So, in reality, students receive and process information in a variety of ways, in which every individual has different likelihood during class, like some are interested in mathematical problem, some are interested in class, by which the teacher presented uh, like a video of his or her lecture. Uh, it is by doing something entertaining or interesting while your teacher uh, while you are teaching in the class uh, so it is a way that the student will not be bored and they will eagerly to learn. Next is students demonstrate their knowledge in multiple ways. Student may have options for how they perform physical tasks, for how they communicate their understanding to the educator and each other, and for how they plan and manage tasks. Uh, nowadays, many educators use the, uh, the same methods over and over again in their lessons for students to express themselves and demonstrate their new knowledge. So, today's students wants to express themselves in a in a variety of ways they want their academic work to be relevant engaging and fun like during reporting they want the report in an animation type they will also role playing experimenting um, drawing dancing and many more so that they can they can how uh, they can enjoy and also learning something. They also often require to make connections, provide uh, resources and instruction. They are not only use ways that provide just the information, but also adding creativity, self-expression, greater depth, and provide for a wider audience. Student engagement is not one size fits all. Educators provide options that optimize individual choice and autonomy, relevance and authenticity. Students demonstrate sustained effort and persistence 
and have strategies for managing their own work. Education has traditionally been approached using a one-size-fits-all model, wherein students are subjected to the same teaching styles and, evo and evaluation methods irrespective of their ability or interest. The learning environment is safe and supportive. Classroom culture reflects positive social-emotional supports. Some students may require individualized behavior plans and supports to address their individual needs. A supportive environment strives to be in which students are treated with respect and fairness by teachers, other staff, and other students. Effective teaching and learning takes place. Positive support and encouragement are provided by members of staff and students.